there, thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable Whimsy Stamps image called Sarah. Isn't she cute? I love her. I will put a link down in the description box of the card kit and all the supplies that I use. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I will make sure to get back with you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. So let's start out by giving her a little bit of a blue background. For that, we're going to use B quadruple zero and a colorless blender. And let's do these two little spots right here where you can see through her leg. And then let's go over here. And I'm just going to touch down next to her, and I'm going to pull out as far as my pin can you know, comfortably go with my hand. I'm not extra stretching it. Here. She's got a little bit of neck, or a little bit of background showing there between her neck. And up here. And then up here above her hat, I'm just going to go up a little bit. It doesn't go straight across. And work our way back down to her boot or to the package. Around her cute little bear friend. And down here to the bow. Then I'm going to take my color of the splendor and I'm just going to wipe over that color and I want to go a little bit past out into my white so that I'll smooth all that out. Up here and back around to the other side and down this way. And that will give her a little bit of blue there to stand against. Next, let's do her skin and her cheeks. For her skin today, I'm going to use E01, E00, E000. And for her cheeks, I'm going to use R30. I'm going to start down here on her leg with my E01. And let's see. Let's just go a little bit here from the back. And then we'll add E00. And then wipe over the entire leg with our E triple zero. And I'm going to add a second coat of my E01. And we'll go up here and we'll do her neck and her face. So again, we're going to start with our E01. Let's do a little dab here on her neck. And then for her face, let's do right up here, but I want to bring this color down along the side. And let's bring it down this way. A little bit of her face showing there behind her ear, or behind her um, hair here. Then I want to add E00. I fill in her neck. E triple zero. And we're going to give that a second coat after our cheek, so I'm not worried that it's not blended. Then we'll do R30. And then let's grab our E01 again. Double zero. And 
and then over the entire thing with our E triple zero. I'm going to pink up those cheeks just a little bit more, so let's do a little dab of our R30. For her hair, let's use E53, E51, and E50. I'm going to start with my E53. Let's start up here underneath of her hat. Put a few little streaks up here. And then right. And then let's do this hair down here on the back. And a little dab over here on her bangs. And let's add E51. And then we'll fill it in with our E50. I'm just going to wipe over all of her hair. Then I'm going to add a second coat of my E53. Let's do the fur on her hat, coat, boots, and the little bear's hat. For that, we're going to use W1, 0, 00, and the color loose blender. And let's start up here on her hat with our W1. And let's see, let's go kind of around here. Let's add a little bit of shadow stuff in here. Go around some of these little swirls. And then I want to add W0. And I just want to go over the top of my W1. And then W00. And I'm just going to swirl that around the whole little pom pom. And then I'm going to take my colorless blender and swirl over the top of that to mush it all together. Then we're going to grab W1 again. So let's do the fur up here on our hat. So let's do around here. Add some on there. And let's go up this way just a little bit. And then over here, we got this little one that's down here. And then I want to do W0. Let's bring this up here a little bit. And 
is some of these little swoops. And then we'll do W00. And then again with our color splendor over that. Let's go down here and do the pom-poms on our little scarf. So again, let's add W1. And W0. W00. And our color splendor. And then we're going to do W1. W0. W00. And again with our color splendor. We do all this for now. We don't have to worry about touching any of that red. So again, W1. And for our fur, let's go down this side, under a pocket, and then we'll add W0, W00. All of those with our color splendor. We got a little bit of fur here, right here. Let's do W1, double zero, zero, double zero, and our color splendor. And let's hop over here and we'll do his hat. So W1. W0, W00, and color splendor, mush them all together, and then how about our boots down here? So W1, and we're going to do the fur on these, so let's go W1, and since this one's mostly in the back, I'm going to bring it mostly all the way to the front, and this one, brush that, and then we're going to add W0, W double zero and then again with our colorless blender. For the little bear, let's use E forty three, forty one, forty, and then R twelve for his um, inner ears, foot pads, nose, and cheeks. So I'm gonna start with my E forty three. Let's go up here and we'll do his ear first. And let's come in here and do his foot. And then for his face up here, let's do... Let's see, I want to kind of give him a little roundy cheek, so let's go up like this. 
So I got it somewhere to draw. And then we're going to add E41. I'm going to give him a second coat so I'm not worried that he's not looking all blended. Okay, so let's go with our E43 for a second coat. Then our second coat of E41. And his face. And then, oh, let's do his little cheeks here too. I guess I colored these the same color. And for his belly, let's use E40. I didn't do anything fancy. I'm just going to color that right over that. And then I'm going to take my R11 and color in his little foot pad and his ear, and his nose, and then let's give his cheek. A little bit of color. And then I'm going to go over that, his cheeks, with my E41. Let's hop up here and do these little flowers on her hat. For that, we're going to use BG 72 and 70. And we're not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to give each little pointy in a little dab of color. And then I'm going to go over that with my BG70 and just fill the rest of those petals in. Next, let's do the alternate stripes on her scarf, her dress, and the package. For those, we're going to use W1, BG72, and BG70. And let's start here with her dress with W1. And I'm just going to swipe away from her coat. And then I'm going to go over that with BG72 and a little bit past. And then I'm going to grab my BG70, and since the 72 is so dark, I'm going to tip to tip it, so I'm going to grab a little bit of my BG72 on my BG70 pin, and then we're just going to wipe that right over this edge. I think I'll go with a second coat of my BG72. Darken her dress up just a little bit more. And then a second coat of our BG7072 together. Alright, 
Now about the scarf up here. So for her scarf, let's do our W1 first. And let's start up here on this stripe. And then we're going to do skip one. So let's do this stripe. And this one. And that one's going to be red. So how about this one? And then skip one. Let's get this back one. Okay, then we're going to go over all of that with our BG72. I'm going to color this one over here in since it's way in the back. work our way around here to the other side or back up to the top then again I'm going to grab my BG70 and when I want to pick up some of my BG72 and then use that to fill in this little bit of space that's left here on the scarf And we'll work our way back down to the bottom here. And then if you wanted it to be darker, you could go over it with a second coat. But I'm liking it like that, so I'm going to leave it like that. And we're going to hop down here and do the package. So grab your W1. Let's go right along here. And then over here, let's do a little dab over here. over that with our BG72. And then again, grab your BG70 and pick up some of your BG72 and fill in the rest. And 
And I wasn't worried if I got a little bit on my dots because we're going to color those red and it's going to cover the right up. And again, if you wanted to make this package darker, you could go over it with a second coat. All right, so all the rest of the stuff we're going to color red. For that, we're going to do R59, 46, and 35. And I'm going to start over here on this little bear's hat with E59, or sorry, R59. And we're going to go right on the bottom here. And then we're going to add R46. And I tend to, I don't know, I tend to get my hand in it and move it or my red stuff around. So I try to do stuff that I'm not going to touch first. So I do this side first and work my way that way. So in case I get my arm in it or my hand on it, I don't have to worry about it transferring to the other side. And then R35. And then the bow. So again, grab um, R59. And let's do our little bow. And okay, and we're going to work our way across. So let's do these little dots. And then for the package ribbon, let's go the bottom there, and let's go on this side over here, and then this one, and our dots. Then we want to add R46. And then we want to fill that in with our R35. Let's hop up here and do our hat next. So grab your R59. I'm going to go right behind, just a little bit behind the fur of her hat. And let's bring it up. There's a little bitty line right here. So let's exaggerate that a little bit. Bring that out in here. And I'm going to go around this fur. 
And then I want to bring this up a little bit. And then let's go away from this hat, or from the fur a little bit too. I did the line first so I didn't have to worry about getting super close to my fur because me in red, I definitely would be coloring it with that. Then we're going to add R46. Right along this edge. Okay, now we have the difficult part of all these little flowers. So we've got to be super careful. And I found that if you swipe down away from the, the center of the flower, you could, um, it works a little bit better. At least for me, I didn't get as much, um, I avoided getting it on my flower. And let's bring this up to, oh, this little flower right here. Super careful going around that one. Okay, then let's add R35. So again, we're going to be super careful going around all these little petals. Work our way around to the other side. Okay, yay, I didn't get any on that one. <laughs> okay, this one little spot left. Let's go around this one. Hopefully we can go around without getting it all in there. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> okay, then we're going to fill in the rest of our hat. Let's do a little bit down here on this dark section. Let's pull this up just a little bit. So I got a little bit right up here. It's still white. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's hop down here and we will do um, this, uh, this little bit of sleeve that's showing right here. So again, we're going to go with our R59. Add a little dab of that. And then our R46. And then that tiny bit with R35. And let's do the little sash here on her um, dress. So R59 first. And then let's do a little bit. We're coloring that little dot there. And then we're going to go R46. And R35. Then, let's see, let's do her this other side of her coat. So grab your R59, and let's do a little dab right by the fur. So we're going to be really careful going down that 
edge. And I'll go clear down here. And right here she's got a little pocket. So I'm going to take this little pocket and bring it down and around like that. And then we want to go down, let's see, the back of her sleeve. And right next to the scarf. Then we're going to do R46. So let's fill this section in back here. And then up here, we're going to do a little bit along this edge. And for the pocket in her sleeve, I'm going to go ahead and fill in this little part right here in the front of her shirt too, in right front of her coat. Okay, then we're going to brush this out. And the same for her sleeve or her pocket. And then we're going to take R35 to fill that in. Okay. Then, now, the scarf. So R59 first. Then we got to go down each of these cute little stripes. And then we're going to do this side too. I'm going to color this little bitty one in all the way. Then we want to add R46. So I'm going to start over here. And then we're going to work our way down the scarf. These smaller ones up here I'm just going to color in because they're pretty dinky and then let's do this side and then we want to fill the rest in with our R35 Do a little bit on this one again. Oh, 
Okay, so that leaves us with our little boots down here. So grab your R59, and let's do a little dab over here on the front of her foot, like that. And then on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's bring a line all the way back to the back of her leg. And then I'm going to brush this color up this way towards her package. Okay, then this boot, let's do a little dab right here in this little section that's going to be kind of inside. And we'll bring this around. And then for her shoe down here on the bottom, we want to get that. I'm going to color this back one in. And then this one, let's go along the top there, and then pull it out a little bit along the sole. Then we're going to add R46. Lastly, our R35. So there is our beautiful Sarah all colored up. Didn't she turn out cute? Love her. And then again, here is the finished card. So on my finished card, the girl and her mat is popped up off the card. And this little flag banner, I put some little pop dots behind there so that can be popped up. And then these little um, snowflakes I attached with some liquid ad um, adhesive so they would stay down. And then down here, I added some Ranger's Distress fine glitter. <laughs> I think that's what I find glitter down here in clear rock candy and that will be in the kit too so you can sprinkle some along the bottom here for snow. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.